Hello there everyone and welcome back to our Richieville 4X Multifruit and Factory Map Live Multiplayer Let's Play and we're back here with Dragon, Michael B, Jason, Morpheus, and Dixie. Hey. Hello. Hello. So we have a little problem with the server guys. Uh, yeah. We're not going to be able to continue our uh, usual Let's Play but we have uh, one of Dixie's save maps and we're going to plug on with that for the day. She has all kinds of stuff set up here and uh, yeah. So hopefully we'll get that straightened out in the next couple of days, folks. <laughs> it still didn't work. What? Oh, no. <laughs> what? Okay, let me just try and restart the computer again. Oh, I'm busy doing that. Okay, there what we go. What we're using. All right, I'll be back. Yeah. User disconnected from your channel. So on Dixie's map here, we own all the fields. And she has her factory set up over here, if you can see. Oh, here comes someone. But hello, everybody. Happy weekend. Welcome, Old Man 102. Welcome, Pete Henderson. Welcome, Lauren Dreger. Welcome, Wayne. Hello, everybody. So, yeah, we're getting a little confusion going on with the servers, guys. Uh, a lot of our stuff is down at the moment. But uh, we seem to uh, get it going. Uh, Dixie kind of helped me up, helped me out by setting up a few things here and giving me her save game so we can continue on with her map. At least we can uh, still keep going. But I'm more worried about the competition map now. Hopefully we'll be able to uh, get that straightened out. But Richieville, we're, we're still going here. We're on a regular server today. So let's go jump around and see what's up. Oh, it doesn't mm. like me today. I'm getting stuck at 26%, so I don't know. Oh, we got some pumpkins over here. The lettuce production stuck on my screen. I can't sell that tractor. Bigger tractor. There we go. That'll work. So there has been some updates, uh, guys. Go on over to the uh, Trello site. And uh, they did up update some stuff. I'll tell you as we're going along because some of it's kind of new to me as well. We're not going to be introducing any new mods here today, but we'll certainly talk about them. Anything that's available to the public. Hello, Wayne. <coughs> oh, this guy got a nice capacity. 500,000 liters, this little truck. So where can I bring pumpkins? Uh, the pie company, the beer, and the uh, farming house. Okay. I'll just let that keep filling up for now. Ooh, it's a loud factory. One of those should be able to take them. Most of the factories are completely full right now. This guy's done harvesting. There's like bales of something all over the field here. Okay, let's see if we can find ourselves a harvester. We'll get a little harvesting done. What's this? Cherry. No, you probably tomatoes. have to buy harvesters. Got to buy harvesters? Yeah, yeah. we've using different ones. Okay, so let's head on over to the shop, folks. Under harvesters. So, I one thing I can tell you, if you haven't seen my last review, um, I actually, there was a couple of updates for some of the factories the over there, guys. If you downloaded the following four mods prior to October 7th, you're going to want to go over there and update it. Now, the four mods you're going to want to update for sure are the map, the dairy barn, the hen house, and the stone crusher. Because the hen house, they added bone meal and, and uh, chicken parts, chicken cuts. And uh, the dairy barn, they added um, rock salt. Stone crusher can now work with rock salt. And the map was updated to uh, accommodate all those changes. So yeah, guys, make sure you update them. And there may be even a few more over there that you have to update. Yeah. Let's get uh, team speed. Pipe Company, Ace Hardware, the uh, placeable cell trigger for the gold and recyclables. That's a brand new mod, guys. There's a, there's a sell point now for, what is it, the gold and the recycles? The gold and the recyclables. Yeah, you can actually sell that stuff now. And uh, a few of you have been asking about an auto load trailer for the uh, lumber pallets. If you go over to the Trello site, there's an actual auto load trailer there that will handle the lumber and what else Dixie the pipe pallets the pipe pallets now there's Remind a new pipe factory if you're not aware of it and is it there is any in, uh, in work in progress okay and is there anything else we've uh, 
he put out for the public that's new? Um, the DP120 is, is set to plant all of Ricciville crop types. Okay. So, the, yeah, the, the DB120 is over there. The, if you're not familiar with that, that's the uh, John Deere harvester. And it works with all the new fruit types and stuff. So, look, keep your eye open for that, too, guys. Everything. Everything else is good? If I'm forgetting anything, old man, go ahead and type it there in chat. <laughs> or if you just think about it. There's no hurry. If you think about it along the way, then... Okay, I think we're going to harvest some lavender here, guys, since it's all set up for us, and hopefully it's ready to harvest. Ooh, I don't think so. It might be ready to harvest. I don't know at what state it is. Let's check it out. I know there's bales to pick up, tobacco bales to pick up. I set it to save every five minutes, just in case. Just in case. Okay, let's take a look at that. What field are we in? We're up in 30. And I'm thinking that field is, was just harvested. Oh, it is. Why? Is it, no, it, there's crop on the field here, unless that's already cut. User entered your channel. I think it's already been cut. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. Oh, yeah, I was in the middle of buying a harvester, wasn't I? Okay, let's get over here. We'll find us a good one. Are you, Is it the ideal ones by Iconic we use? For the most part? Uh, for what? For just harvesting the regular crops? Like, that works for all the... Yeah. The regular header stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's get one of those guys. We'll, uh... Trying to remember what we have in here. Yeah. <laughs> We'll up the capacity, of course, to what? What is that set at? 250,000. That's good. Uh, design. There's a baler for lavender up there in the field, and there's also one in the tobacco field. Nice. But I think both those fields have been harvested. Let's get a fence. Engine set up. How about 692 horsepower? That sounds good to me. Okay, we'll set up. Let's see what we User got. User entered your channel. I'm going to go with that. And... No. Oh, that looks kind of cool. But I don't like going with the duels. Because sometimes they're a little bit, bit of a pain in the butt getting them through fenced-in areas and stuff. Yeah, that's why I'm driving now is a dually. Yeah. Let me get the tracks here. Got duels on front and back. Yeah, front and back. Okay. That's what Bill likes to drive. Yeah. <laughs> Let's grab a header for that, guys. Multi fruit. No, no. That's gonna be under just regular headers. Well, I give up. It's not. It's just not gonna. Not work for not me. liking that mod, buddy. I don't know what's nope. going on there. I don't either. Um, so I'm gonna go do something constructive instead. Because <laughs> I'm losing patience with it. Yeah, I don't blame you, buddy. Oh well, you tried, man. We'll Sorry, catch dragon. you next time, dragon. Yeah, well, hey, I've done your guys' fault, so. We'll catch you all uh, a little later. All okay, right. buddy. Have a good have one. A nice stream. Thanks. Okay. User I hope disconnected I from bought that channel. header. Let's see here. Instead of tabbing through everything, let's go over there. Yeah, the odd time we have a mod that just does not want to work with us. We all have it. But sometimes certain people, it says that it's not in your folder. And it's like, uh, don't tell me it's not in my folder. I know it's in my folder. I put it yeah, there. He downloaded it I just times. put it there. Just it wasn't there. But sometimes, like I've seen times where we had to, you know, sometimes that's why I told him to restart his computer because sometimes it just you need that refresh, but it's not working today. Not working today. Okay, let's see what fields need harvesting here. Oh, we got all kinds. We got a worker up in 29. I just want to figure out uh, what am I close to here. I'm got a big soy bean field down here at 59. 59. I'm heading. I'm heading south, folks. 59. It is. Here comes someone. Michael B. Still trying to get in. Nah. Nope. Pop right back out. No. Yeah, that's the joys of using the free server, folks. It's not too clean of a. But uh, hopefully we'll get that straightened out soon, guys. We're going to push on no matter what, but it's just so much nicer when we have the server going. Okay, i got to pause here for one sec because I lost my chat for some reason. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, back to the map. Dole factory almost ready. Very nice. Very nice. No, I'm just going to cut right on across here. And head on south. Right on down to 59. Yeah, you can see Michael B trying to join in there. Not having too much luck. Yeah. Even uh, the in-game server, the free one, is horrible for people that are overseas. Like, really, really bad. I was lucky I got in all right. Yeah. I mean, we have trouble with people overseas trying to join our paid-for server. So, you know, the... Uh, the free, the free one's not going to be too much better than that. Oh yeah, baby, we're going big. We get the big old crazy header going here. We're going all out, folks. Okay, let's get this bad boy unfolded. Picking up straw, I can't see. <laughs> Thanks, Lauren Dragger. Right on. <coughs> okay, let's harvest some soybean. Coming at you. If anybody's about, and uh, maybe they can run me down a tipper. If, if not, I'll get one when the time comes. Yeah, we'll have to buy some. Jason bought one. Don't we have all kinds of them? Oh. Yeah, oh. we got little, little, little mini Ottomans everywhere. Those things I'll are awesome. I'll grab you one of those. Thank you. Those things are awesome. I love them. I got the white one stuck up here at the on the pig pen. <laughs> They're so nice for getting in at those little factory triggers and stuff instead of, you know, <laughs> messing around with a fifth wheel and jackknifing your truck. It's just so easy to scoop in there and just do it. I'll grab this one. That's like the uh, that Ford truck. That's such a nice little mod, man. I love that. I love how it, it double stacks the pallets, so when you drop them off in the triggers, they usually accept all them once. I love I love that. The the new uh, auto load trailer actually has where you can load sixteen pallets on one time, boards or pipes. Yeah. So it's double stacked and then twice as high. So don't forget, guys, the uh, pipe. Yeah, the pipe factory's out now. Go check that out if you haven't. And like I said, those four mods you're gonna want to update if you haven't done it since the uh, seventh of this month. You're going to want to update those because there's new products. The rock salt for the uh, dairy burn. And then you got the bone meal and the uh, the chicken cuts. I can bring any tipper down. The first step in the butchery department. I love it. Oh, thank you, Lord Dragger. That was very kind of you, buddy. Thank you so much. Wow. Yeah, that was very nice of you, buddy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. So, yeah, we're going to push on with the factory stuff now. Dixie already got a bunch of stuff set up, so maybe we'll take a little boot around the map and we'll see her set up. Yeah, there's one of each here. At least one of each. So it's a little bit different than the map we were on. I'll show you guys if you are just joining us here. Hold on. So usually we had our factory stuff set up here in 24 and 25. We turned that into a parking lot. But you'll see over here she has a bunch of stuff set up. Look at all the words overlapping each other. That's so funny. That's the bale storages. Yeah. Lots of bale storage. Look, she got all the animals on the go up there. Actually, let's go ahead and hire a worker, and we'll uh, do a little look-see up here. We'll check out this little factory corner she got set up. It was kind of last minute, so things might be a little... Oh, busy. no, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. And she already got a head start on stuff, too. Like, most of the factories are full of stuff. Like, they're just being... Yeah, they're stuffed full. <laughs> production is well underway. Hello, Tanya. Welcome. Get yourself some lavender for a work in progress factory. Uh, there's a bunch of lavender. You'll see the bales back there. Nice, nice, like nice. Yeah, we got a whole field full of uh, lavender bales. So that'll come in handy. A bunch already. 
Well, I'm gonna wait. Back so, any of you have ever wondered what my map looks like? Well, here it is. Oh. <laughs> Me and my boyfriend set it up. Good he job. did most of the setting up, I did most of the filling up. <laughs> <laughs> good job, good job. Looks good. Those sorted tractors up here in the field. I know what that had on it. That had the yeah, auto -load trailer on it. We're having server woes, guys. Like uh, I'm more concerned about our competition day because this here we can uh, we can start from scratch if we had to. You know what I mean? We can just adjust everything, and I can just f fiddle around with some stuff and bring us pretty much right back to the point where we left off. But the the, the uh, competition, the save game stuck on the server, so we can't get it to continue on where we we could start over. With the twenty dollar super chat. I know. Isn't that nice of him? Way to go there, Mr. Lorne Dragger. Bless you, sir. This guy's awesome, Nick, by the way, man. Yeah. Papa, did, Papa, did you forget how to talk? And join us in, in voice. Papa? Oh, yeah. I thought you meant Papa Papa. Papa There's so Smurf. many Papas. <laughs> Papa Smurf. Papa Papas Smurf, and old Papa mans. <laughs> oh, man. We lost like 10 million liters of diesel because we don't have the other mod that I have. Where's Papa? It's popping up there in Steam chat. Oh, oh. Teasing us. That's what he's doing. Okay, we got our dairy factory down here. I'm back, but I'm not back. What else do uh -oh. we got? Some of this I'm unfamiliar with. Um, oh, the monks. We got the singing monks. I can hear them really close by. Here we are. Ho ho holy herbicide. You have any place for the wheat? You just put it in a regular farm silo. Dixie's hard at work at the the old uh doing some baling there. What are all these silos close by? Uh these are all grass dryers and stuff. There's like six of them here, right by the animals. Six Yeah, we had over eight hundred cows. Wow. Look at all them <laughs> animals. Got all kinds of horses here. Wow. Got a couple of empty pens here. Yeah, the pigs. We don't have that many pigs. Got some piggies over there. This pen looks empty. Oh, it looks like somebody tried to drive into the pig pen with that white truck. Yeah, well, I can't pick it up and move it. We don't have that mod in here. <laughs> yeah, and you'll notice some of the factories have disappeared here, guys. Like, the, she had some mods in here we didn't have in our files. So when I uh, picked up her save game, anything she had is gone now. That, hence the uh, empty spots where you can see there was a factory. Oh man, like keeping animal. us in suspense, luck. Get yourself some lavender for working. I know, eh? In progress factory. And we got a big old field full of it, so we're nice, nice, nice. I like surprises. Well, Nick, if you want to pop down here at the edge of twenty six, you'll see what what. We have stored up already. Twenty six. We're, we're okay. I see. Yeah. Be, oh no, the train got me. <laughs> oh, I just seen you fly across the map, or like sideways. Oh, we have a casualty. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I I can just actually fast travel to that silo. Hold on. Whoa, let's zoom out here a little I bit. I think excuse the mess. Okay, where are you at? <laughs> Is it? Oh, that's Jason. Wait a minute. Dixie's up here. I'll go, I'm with. I'll go to that place. Right there. Oh, saving. I gotta. <laughs> you're gonna see that a lot, folks, because I'm not taking any chances. It's saving every five minutes. I do apologize for that, but gotta be done. Okay, Dixie, where are You'll you? You'll see the big mess. <laughs> right by 26 you said yeah right there at the corner oh look at that <laughs> oh pretty bales is that tobacco and lavender tobacco and lavender nice there. look at that oh that make it a nice little thumbnail let's see here uh oh let's get a little get a little bit of that uh the orchards in the background that make a nice little thumbnail say cheese Okay, let's go over and see what she got going on here. We got all kinds of orchards over here. There's two of each there. Nice, nice. Got some access to some free water there as well. 
Is that cold storage? Yes, it is. Yep. All kinds of greenhouses. Look at this setup. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. There's our plantation over here. Looks like there's two side by side. Got a little bit of everything going on over here. Very nice, very nice. Okay, let's get a little height here so we can get a vantage point here. Yeah, that's right, Lauren Dragger. Don't want to take any chances. But we will continue on with the map once we uh, once we get it go the server going again. It's just unfortunate we can't access the save game. But uh, hopefully we'll get that straightened out soon. What do we got here? Oh, this must be the uh, brewery. Old Samuel Adams. I always go to say Samuel Jackson. We don't have Samuel Adams around here. Kind of strange. We got some storage over here. More storage. This is storage corner. All three warehouses there. Very nice. Yeah, you'll see some empty places where things were set. Yeah, on yeah. Now. Some of these factories I'm kind of unfamiliar with too because I didn't set them up. But I'm slowly catching up, old man. Slowly catching up. You're giving me lots to work with, that's for sure. Uh, what do we got over here, folks? Yeah, don't forget you can sell your bales here, guys. Right at the animal dealership. If you didn't know okay got a few lumber mills over here I can see the happy hippie down there that is the dairy once again okay there's a quick little look guys what's going on Heinz got her potato chip factory down there Hershey's all the big companies right in the middle nice got Nick's house of dough we got uh, Dixie's pie factory Very nice. Okay. Let's see if uh, Mr. got the harvest done yet. I was looking up at the corner for the glance mod. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I go to teleport. It's like, oh yeah, I can't. Oh, that guy was right there. I just missed him. All kinds of tractors at the shop, guys, if you're looking for any. Now, that one that's there in the sale place needs to be sold. It's too small. Oh, is it? I think, I think we had it attached to a baler that didn't need a lot of power. Looks like this helper went home for the day. He just finished that one row I left him at and said, yeah, I'm done. Oh, you, you pretty much have to stay with those. Yeah. The hired worker won't work very well and turn around. We're working on that. Well, oh my God, Lord Dragger, man. <laughs> You're killing me off, man. God bless you, man. You don't have to do that, but oh, God, that's so nice of you, man. That was really kind of you, buddy. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. That's so nice of you, man. Wow. Nice to see the, the the love, for sure. This wasn't one of my best weeks. <laughs> but, man, I'm glad I have you guys there. I got the crew to back me up. I have a good following. I got a great, uh, great following. Thank you, thank you. That is picked up. That is... You're doing this math solo, Keith. Wow. You're going to have your hands full, bud. But know what? It's not impossible. When you, you know, break out the equipment like this, of course. It's not realistic, no. But hey, you want to play 4X multi-fruit maps? There's nothing wrong with breaking out this stuff, guys. Oops. Some people hate these type of mods, but you know, as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's all that matters. You can get it done in a respectable amount of time, get yeah. your factories up. You're using the vanilla equipment. You're not. You're. Not, you'll be lucky to see a factory up and running. All right. 
Yep, that's right, Jason. Leaf girl. But yeah, like I said, guys, keep uh, down in the description below is the link for the Trello site. Keep it in your favorites. If you're if you're sticking with this map and you want to keep updated, and check out Old Man's Facebook site as well because he'll tell you over there what he's updating. So you won't have to look through all the mods to see what he did lately, right? But as I'm noticing them too, I will certainly bring it to your attention. Leave that right there. Yeah, you have to. You have to. If you want to do this by yourself, the vanilla stuff's going to make you tear your hair out. I mean, some people have a lot more patience than others, but I couldn't do it. No, 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 no. Couldn't do that. Got to haul out the big stuff. You got to haul out the big stuff. Yeah. Trust me, he's telling me the truth, guys, because, I mean, if you see my type of gameplay, I'm almost bald. <laughs> <laughs> Morpheus likes to keep it realistic, but it's like, oh... I, I wouldn't have the patience for it. Honestly, I wouldn't. Nick watches and he's like urgent, like, it's, oh my god, I wouldn't be able to do that. It's I painful. Be able to do that. It's painful because it's just like, oh, I, I imagine me doing it. But I mean, all the power to you. If you can play like that, I mean, wow. But I gotta I gotta mix it up. I can't be stuck in a field for, for half a day, you know. And I mean, look at the, the smallest fields on this map are still ginormous. I mean, try doing this with a, with a vanilla harvester, you know? You'd have to empty that thing twice on every pass. Does anyone have a tipper that they can bring up to field 29 for me? Hello, old go man go. firmer. Hello, I'll, I'll Keith. Go get a I'll go do it myself. Everyone's hard working. Oh, oh, oh. Looking at the chat. Well, right now, we just have two yep, big, the multi -fruit big tippers and one small one. Wow. And Jorn's map, wow. There's a map I can't wait to see. Someday. What are you Old about, fool, Nick? Um, let's take a look here. Oh, man's definitely keeping us happy here, though. Let me tell you, with all these uh, mods. Um, why is it saying 0%? Why am I harvesting this and there's nothing coming out? Oh, my uh, God, man. I've just been harvesting this field and there's nothing in my tank. Figure that one out, that guys. That is weird. Let's see if I can pick anything up out of an empty tank. Man, I don't know what happened there. Oh, I bet you got the cotton one instead of the, oh, the grain one. No. Oh, no. I bet you, you do, Nick. Look at all that wasted product. <laughs> yeah, I bet you, you do. I did. I know I did right now. My bad. Oh. Well, guys, back to the shop we go. I think I'd lose my job if I did that in real life, wouldn't you? Wouldn't you think? It's a lot of wasted crop, but... Man! Nobody in the chat noticed, either. Oh, there's a semi right here, Morpheus. So I'll reset it to the shop. Man! Oh, no, that's good. I'm, I'm on my way back. Okay. Thanks, you, though. Thank you very much. I'll just take this one down to the shop because it didn't have anything attached to it anyway. It's just kind of in the way. He's a tipper. Or actually, yeah, I do need a semi. A tractor is not going to do. My way back down with it. It's pretty close, so I'm just driving it instead of resetting it. <laughs> I've been harvesting field 29 tobacco for the past two weeks with helper and only up to halfway with oh my god Wayne you got some patience dude wow see that's what I mean like all the power to you if you can do it like you just have more patience than I have maybe we should have plenty of diesel fuel over here we got nine of Papa's oil companies over here oh I like that John Deere tipper that's nice here comes somebody in a semi. Right, this Ooh, face. what an ugly color that is. You don't like that? I, I like it. Oh, okay. Looks a bit better now that it's closer up. It's gold. Yeah, it's gold. Might need worse, though. Just don't match that John Deere trailer. That's all. <laughs> well, here, change its color. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah, Connect it. 
Uh, let's see here. Back to the shop. Let's do this the right way this time, folks. We, we had a match with the blue tipper. Uh, that was no. Blue gold. That's the header I bought. It's saying it's good for... It's not the header, it's the harvester. Oh. I think you just got the cotton one. Oh, I see. I sold the header, too. <laughs> Oh, well, right, let's so buy it me, again. You want me to just follow you up there? Uh, thank you. No, I'm good. I'll okay. take the truck up. Okay, we have a cotton harvester anyway. I got the worker, I got the worker going on the harvester. Okay. Let me check i got to bounce thing. up there and get this lettuce greenhouse off my screen. Shouldn't it have a cotton logo on the side? Oh, it does, too. Uh, okay, guys, if you go to Harvest Cotton, there's that uh, Black Ideal harvester. At the shop is what you want. It's already there, but I'm just going to leave it here. On this map, you can't have the loose cotton. We do just bales. Ah, oh, right, right, right. So that's no good, eh? No, it would just okay. be sold anyway. There's no use for cotton. Never mind. I'll get rid of it. Production wise. Back to the, back to the shop you go. Thanks for nut. That's lettuce. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Man, these cell icons is sometimes they want don't work. Sometimes they work. Well, you might have a global company thing stuck to your. Okay, I finally got mine off my screen. I know I got my flying here. Let me try to get rid of the flying. Here, I can do it. Here we go. I got it. Uh, so. Goodbye. Back to regular way. Okay, let's go buy a proper harvester this time. Okay. So it's that. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, I bought the wrong type here. No, I don't want cotton. See, that's what I did. Okay. All right, let's try that again. Up and move it. What would be nice in purple? Uh, do somebody just... It don't matter. That's Lauren Dragger. He's oh. <laughs> well, we do we do have a purple cotton or a blue. Uh, dang it, purple lavender harvester up here in the lavender field. I seen that. Nice. Back we go. Let's see if we can salvage the rest of that field. I've been using the pipe factory and some of my pipes are getting stuck in cell point and some pipes have been magically go going to the store. LOL. Not too sure there, uh, old man farmer. I haven't uh, played with the uh, pipe factory yet. But uh, is anybody else having that happen to them? Out there? No. I've not had a problem with it yet. What are you using for an auto load? Uh, Oh man. Yeah, I haven't I haven't looked at the pipe factory just yet. But it's a common. If you're using the uh, auto loader off the Torello board, remember it's a work in progress. It's yeah. not perfect, but it works. So just keep that in mind, guys. Yay, we got soybeans. I can't believe I did that much of the field and didn't notice there was anything in my tank. But nobody else noticed either, so I'm good. Hello, Brandon. Welcome to the stream, bud. But as you just said it out loudly, we all noticed now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Oopsie, yeah. 
You need lots of soybeans. Nah. Oh well, we got a half a field here. Well, if I can get this other tipper out of the pig trough. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't help that the the headers I or the harvesters are identical. It's just you gotta watch it. I went to uh, I usually go one click to the uh, to the to the left because I know that's like the biggest size. But I forgot the cotton ones right at the end. So I should have. Uh, I'm working on the dough factory now my review that should be out for tomorrow mix house of dough oh man made that for me god love him cool little company and then i'm going to be reviewing the uh the three warehouses and then um, and then dixie's pies i'm just kind of doing it in order so i don't confuse anybody new coming to it right i don't want to uh introduce any factories that i didn't already cover the product kind of thing just to keep it simple for everybody. I know like I have to keep going over how to use global company in my reviews, but there's always new people coming over guys and I appreciate you uh tolerating that cuz I I got to basically, you know, let the people know that are just joining kind of thing how to uh, operate global script or the global guys, company. All the are ready to sell cuz it's a totally different thing like if you just came over from 17 Global company is a lot different than the stuff we've been used to prior to this. But know what? It's very cool. I love how you can spawn the pallets and you can buy the product if you don't have it. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you me. just want to farm, you can just farm. Yeah, exactly. Like it's it's really set up nice. I do like that. And you can use an auto load to pick up from the triggers. It doesn't seem to mess things up. That was another thing with seventeen, like we we for the most part you had to use like anything with a fork forklift uh front loader telehandler to remove the pallets from the triggers and then use an auto load because if you auto loaded them right from the triggers sometimes the factory wouldn't start up again and you'd have to save your game come back and then the factory would start up again And I know it's some people don't like that idea. They don't like the auto User load feature, but from your channel. it just depends. You know, I like just going, picking up the product and gone instead of trying to stack 16 pallets, you know, but some people like that. You don't have to use the auto load feature. You can pick them up, but, but you know, using a forklift or whatever and pile them on a truck. We lost Michael B again, I guess. Did we? Probably. Are you guys using compost or just selling it? If you're using it, what trailer are you using to spread it? Uh, no, we don't use the compost to. S we don't use it for fertilizer. No, we're we're using the compost for all the greenhouses. Yeah. Same thing with the compost. But there should be a mod out there. If you check my mod hub, I'm sure you could find something like that. Or maybe somebody in the chat could recommend something for you. I'm sure there's something out there for spreading uh, compost. Yeah, that's right, Keith. I like it too. I prefer it. it just You just go in, scoop it up, and you're on your way. But some people like to, you know, if you're good at using stuff and, you you know, there's no problem with doing it by hand if you like it. It's more realistic for sure. But uh, in 17 and 15, you had no choice because the, the triggers would literally seize up on you. Factory wouldn't restart until you until you remove the pallets from the triggers. And if you use an auto load to remove the pallets from the triggers, the game would not recognize it kind of idea. Uh -oh. I think it Thought that we're still there, but it's nice to see that 19 slowly catching up. We're getting there, guys. We got factories now. We just need more maps to implement this. And but thank God he has a beautiful map here to set up all this stuff. Like I couldn't, you couldn't ask for a better map for all these factories and companies and stuff. Because, I mean, even if you do run at a room, this is a nice flat map. You're going to have no problem converting something over to, like, a, a makeshift parking lot for all your placeables. 
like we're doing, basically. We just have like an industrial park. All our placeables are over that way. And all of our animals are over, over at the other spot. Yeah, little clusters. It's the best way. And we try to keep it in somewhat of an order, you know. We keep all our production companies, like pallets and barrels and all that, kind of together. And we keep all the warehouses that, that can store them kind of close too, right? Oh, you're refilling silos, like keep them in a... Everybody has their own little tricks, but, uh, you know, setting it up like that makes it a lot easier to find so you're not going through multiple factories looking for stuff. <laughs> yeah, auto load. Everybody's loving the auto load. That Ford, if you haven't got it yet, folks, it works wonderfully with the pallet so far. It was just, it wasn't even meant for the map, but I'm having really good luck with it, like doing my reviews and stuff. It picks up six, 16 pallets at a time. It double stacks them, but I mean, in the odd time when you drop them, you, know, you might have a pallet or two fall over for you, but it's, uh, it keeps it nice and compact because when you drop it off in those triggers, you can usually get all 16 in one try. If you center your uh, drop symbol right on that trigger, you'll get them all in every time. Yeah, it's a nice little mod, man. If you, and if you, you're not sure what I'm talking about, just go over to my uh, vehicle mod reviews playlist, and it'll be the last one I did. It's like a orange Ford pickup, but you have to take the auto load feature in the shop because it also comes in uh, semi form, hook lift, a couple of different ones. It's a nice mod. Did a really good job with it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I like, uh, yeah, cause see, cause compost is kind of new to the game. Well, we had it in prior ones, but it's new to 19, I should say. There's not a lot of compost on a whole bunch of maps yet, but uh, I'm sure there's something out there. Some of the factories require. Oh, you're talking about what to haul it? Yeah, to spread it on your fields if you want to use it for fertilizer. I didn't think you could spread no, you can't compost. spread compost on your field. Oh no? No, well, that's not in manure. I thought you could use it as a fertilizer. No, it's just more cell or factory based. Oh well, there you go, uh, Dave. Dirty Dave. <laughs> Yeah, I guess you can't use it. I thought you could myself, but I'm, I'm, I'm wrong, I guess. I haven't tried it. But I remember the other maps, like in 17 and 15, you could use it for fertilizer if you wanted to. Same with slurry and manure. <coughs> but there's certainly a use for it. I mean, all your greenhouses and, and stuff will take manure or compost. All your greenhouses, all your orchards. Oh no. None they if you go over the Trello site you <laughs> can get a compost issue, machine. Guy. He has a uh, fermenting silo that makes manure. You know, you don't have to just rely on the animals. He has other mods that will even a milk. He even has a milk factory. It's called the uh, mini mill. And it makes just milk. Just milk. I need soybean and water. That's right. And but another also, important one is uh, the miner's mill. That milk. makes quite a bit of your, you know, all your, for your pies and cakes and everything. That makes your oil, your flour, your sugar. Um, what else? Oil, flour, sugar. I kind of forget what. Milk. Milk, yeah. Um, it makes a bunch of things, the uh, miner's mill. But the dairy now takes rock salt, guys. And I was, um, Dixie kind of led me in the right direction there because I was confused because I was trying to put rock salt in because it was a bin there for salt, but it wouldn't take it. And I'm like, what the heck's going on? And here he updated it. He already had it there, but I guess it wasn't functioning at first. Is that right? The drop off for the salt in the dairy. But now it has a use. No, I can, think maybe you just had the maps mixed up or something. It could have been. I, I don't know. It could have been. But anyway, you figured it out. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, I had the, uh, there was a bin there for rock salt, but I couldn't put it in. But after I updated it, it took it. So, like I said, if you haven't updated those four mods, noise. guys, since right, the 7th of this month, the road. you're going to want to update them. And that was the map, the dairy burn, the hen house, and the stone crusher. <coughs> and the dough company. The hen house take is one of my salt. favorites now because it does chicken legs. Thanks. Yeah, it takes Yeah. Salt. What else did you say was updated, Dixie? The dough company. The dough company, okay. The dough company. Oh, well, I, I'm in the middle of my review. I better go update that. What did what was added to the dough company? Or do you know? Uh, salt. Salt, right. Oh, yeah, that makes okay. sense. Wise, uh, wise Foods takes rock salt. Okay. Keep that in mind, guys. I didn't know that. I just I just learned that now. Update your uh, update your dough house, Nick's house of dough, because it now takes salt. Good. Anything else I'm mistaken. that I you can be. think of? Or I got my notes here. Yeah. If not, you know what I mean. Not a big deal. And they're always working on new stuff, guys. There's new stuff coming. It's just. Be patient. It'll be out there. It's a comment. Yeah, the dough, take, dough company takes salt. Yeah. Cool. That makes sense, too. Make sure. Having some connection issues. I just tried to harvest the road. <laughs> <laughs> Pavement not good. <laughs> Need some good header for that, eh? Chew up all um, that. Yeah, I'm trying to harvest the onions, but crunch, crunch, crunch. crunch. Onions in the road. <laughs> <laughs> One more pass. Yeah, we'll have this done. Tim Hortons, yeah. Over seven thousand. <laughs> Tim Hortons would be nice. I've seen a Tim Hortons before on a on a map. I think at one time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it was yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. That would be cool. It wouldn't be hard either because all the, they all look the same. Like they have a very distinct look to them, Tim Hortons. I was thinking, uh, and this is just an idea, chicken parts, like the chicken pieces you got KFC on this map. You know what I mean? You could always stick yeah. in a little Tim place. Tim Hortons, then you can have like uh, coffee beans. Yeah. Hey, good idea. Nice. I like it, I like I don't know it. I the coffee shop got axed or not. Good idea. Yeah. And I mean, you already got a KFC sitting there. Get the See, I mean, so I'm many... not totally useless. <laughs> we got so many factories, we had to cut some because of the limitations. Yeah. Yeah, you only allow, what, 250 products or something? I can't remember how many it is, something. but it's 200 not something. enough. I can't remember. They managed to find the cap. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is the only map I know of where they actually reached the limit. Like, man, there's a nice map that came out on the Mod Hub today. Oh yeah, what is it? It's uh, don't ask me to pronounce it, but it's a Polish map. Okay. And there's uh, like 200 fields on it. it wow. Now, wow. It's not multi fruit or nothing, but like for like the standard player, it's a really nice map. Nice my kind of map you know like them little small fields that's right oh dixie got boat got got booted we lost dixie folks she'll be back yeah we still got an hour and 10 minutes to go folks and there's another one that was on the mod hub too nick i think you it's worth a review man it's uh they got this new thing for people that not even just seasons but when it rains and like if you got like a foggy texture or whatever the lights illuminate that way really yep that's cool so what were you saying about the textures of the class stuff could you could you mention that again man just to yeah so they did an update the other day in farming sim so we're on version 1.5.1 now yeah so that update that came out the other day anyone that got steam it's automatically done anyone that has giants has to go to the website download the update and then install it okay. but basically that was the pre-dlc update 
Yeah. So now when you go into some of the implements and tractors and all that, that you were able to change colors before where class wasn't licensed, they weren't allowed to put class colors in oh. the mod hub or like in giant stuff. Right. Not mods, but in giants. Okay. Now the class colors for doing paint jobs are directly in the game. Now. Oh, okay. So yeah, you'll notice that there's more pink colors for all the class stuff now, guys. That's cool. Ah. Yeah, and there's supposed to be another update coming out for uh, Seasons as well soon. So anyone that plays Seasons, there's an update coming out for that soon. It's in beta testing right now. And what it does is, you know how you go into your escape menu and you got your animal tab? Yeah. If anyone is using Seasons, when this new Seasons is updated, that animal tab will not be in your escape menu anymore. It's going to be under the you're going to have to hit alt and s right to open up the seasons menu and they're moving the animals into the seasons menu oh, okay and the only reason why that is because the animals are a lot different when you're running seasons and all that stuff right okay well that's good that there's subtitles there orion i'm glad I didn't even know that it had that. I'm really glad. I, I think I had it turned on. Looks like this guy's full over here. I might have to make a little trip. Okay, what you harvesting over here, son? Rye. Okay, let's go grab our tipper over here. Seem to have lost my flying ability. And we'll dump that. And then we'll go back to 57 and get him unloaded. Yeah, it is. Uh, you can play single player on this, Orion, but you're definitely going to need some modded equipment. We were just talking about that. Like, you can't, uh, you know, if you, you can use some of the in-game stuff, but... I would definitely buy some of the modded equipment, like uh, use that. <clears throat> now you'll find some stuff over on the Trello site. The link is down in the description below. And also there's a link there for Papa Smurf's site. Now if you're not familiar with Papa Smurf, he's a member of our crew. And he likes the modded stuff too. And you will have to make an account to download mods over there. But you'll find most of the mods we use here on that site. Oh, I shoot, I forgot to dump this. So yeah, you will have to make an account to download from Papa Smurf's site, but it's nice, clean, fast downloads with no errors in the log, no ads, anything like that. And highly recommend it. If you like the mods you see here, you're going to like the mods you see there. Here comes somebody in a truck, I'm not getting in their way. Well, it's not me. I'm not back in there yet. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta head back to the farm. So there is a silo at the main farm to dump this into? Yeah, there's one there at farm two also right there beside the shop. Oh, where did you say needed soybean? The miner's mill does. And that's way over there. Okay. Yeah, it's up there at the top of 25. It's at the top of 25. That's where all everything they, is, else is, right? Yeah, our, yeah, okay. our big production area. Yeah. Little For driver. some reason, the mini mills that that were there are not there on, on on no more. I don't know what happened to them. Wait a minute. Here's a silo here. I might try to just dump it in here. Dump it over there in farm two. Is this yeah farm two? That's where I'm at. Okay, there's soybean in there. If anybody needs to know. 165,000 liters. I'm going to go down and empty that harvester. Oh, you already got him, Jay? Okay. Yep. Okay. I was harvesting this field. Okay. 
Oh well, I'll just bring this guy over to 17, I think I was heading to. Alright, I'm headed back in, guys. Yep. That's right, Lauren Dragger. Yeah, he got some really good mods over there, guys. If you're not familiar with Papa Smurf, he, uh, the link is down in the description. Just check it out. Like I said, you will have to make... Oh, might as well empty this guy. You will have to make an account, but it's certainly worth it. What's this guy farming, huh? 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 What you got? Carrots? Onions? Onions. Okay. I was working on harvesting onions in the yellow. Yeah. He's yellow full. One. I'm going to... Oh, why did he stop? He's only 6% full. What are you doing, sir? This is another guy that decided to go home for the day. Well, if it's cut all funny, it's because I was lagging so bad and then got disconnected. Yeah. Volts drop. Nick, you have any updates on the mower with the built-in capacity? Uh, the, the mower with the built-in capacity. What is that now? Are you talking about the cat, uh, the cat pack from Winston? The black and yellow ones we use? Oh, yes. That's probably what you're talking about. If if that's what you're talking about, Volts drop, I don't have any word on that. Actually, I will message him later on and find out about that. Because I remember back in August, he said he was going to release it, but I don't think it's out there yet. But I will certainly ask him. Um, I have an issue. I synced to 26% and stopped, just like Michael B. was. Just let us know if that's what you're talking about, uh, Volts Drop, is uh, the red and... Or the black and yellow cat pack. Clear your cache. Yeah. Do you know what? I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but I never had to do that yet. But I imagine I know what to do if it ever does happen. It's a good idea to clear clear your cache every once in a while, guys, if you know how to do that. Especially if you're going from map to map, because it, it you know it saves a little bit of everything and it kind of refreshes everything when you do that. I know, this thing flies, eh? Yeah, this is all kinds of modded here. Now, is this Homer available over on the Trello site, or is this something we yeah. had? Okay. Yeah, this is available over there, guys. And also over there on Papa Smurf site. And Papa Smurf site. The triple wide. Y pack. Yeah. Did we lose you again, Dixie, or was that from before? No, that's from before. I'm okay. just now clearing my cash. I had something else ex extra running in the background. Oh, I see. But yeah, you can find this harvester over there, guys, if you want to scoop her up. 55 mile, fifty-five kilometers an hour harvesting speed. Very nice. Triple wide header. Oh, yeah. I think that one holds 500,000 liters. It does. Got a big, a big belly on it. You'll have to switch up your headers for each fruit type, but I mean, not a big deal. Yeah, look at it. It's like yanking the onions from the earth at ungodly speeds. No messing around with this guy. Yeah, I left the tipper over there somewhere in that field. Okay. I think it's the white one. I have a tipper here too, but I'm going to keep that one for... I'll look for the one you had. Unless somebody stole it. Someone stole did it. Oh no, I see it. Sorry about the paranoid dog next door, folks. He barks at everything. He's scared of his own shadow, he is. He hears me. I have my I have my uh window open, he hears me talking, it's like blah, 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 blah. what's that? Blah, 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 blah. 
All right, we got onions. Okay, let's go drop off these onions. We'll leave the harvester there for now. Hello, Billy. Welcome, Billy. Uh, what was that? There is just a problem unloading it, I guess. I've been trying trying to figure out why Peanut won't work with Helper, but stumped. Uh, Papa's working on. Papa will be working on that again. Yeah. Yeah, I find the hired workers are a little cranky on this map, but like a, like Dixie just said, it's, it's everything's a work in progress, right? Yeah, some things are. The peanut harvester is especially. Yeah. So there you go. There's a good tip for you, Wayne, that the uh, yeah. the peanut it's it's being uh, worked on but you have to have peanuts if you're gonna have any kind of production because oh, the yeah. company and, and the Hershey's both take them that's right okay let's go visit farmhouse 2 we'll drop off these onions okay I'm trying again there's our ho ho holy herbicide Holy potatoes, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I love it. <laughs> uh, farm Silo 2, right over here. Here she comes. All the way from Brazil. Hello, welcome. Zaka? Sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right, but welcome to the stream, Brazil. Wow. I know the firm side of For some reason, here. it ain't gonna let me back in. It's not letting you in? No, I'm still stuck at 26% again. Uh, it'll jump all of a sudden. It should, anyway. Yeah, the, the in-game server is not very good, guys. Especially when you got eight yeah. people with all this factory stuff going on. She gets a little cranky. <laughs> yeah. Love the monks. I laugh every time we drive by them. Singing their little hymns. Okay, we dropped that off, so let's bring this guy down. We'll, we'll eventually get down to 17, folks. I do believe that's the field we need to harvest. 17, 17, what's in 17? Or 18, I mean. Looks like we have some barley, perhaps? We'll find out in a minute. Yeah, there's barley over there in 18. 18. Okay, I'm going to get that next. A couple of little fields around here that need harvesting. Field number I keep two. a chart what, what we had planned in each field. Yeah. Okay, we'll follow the tracks down to 18, I guess. Yeah, we're streaming. We are. I tried a few different harvesters and nothing. Got a 50 meter oh, harvester seven. now for quickness. So you're not having too much luck with the peanuts, is it? What do we I use to har the harvest the peanuts? Again. Isn't that the homer? Yeah. It's the homer, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. There's a peanut uh, header that you need to use. Yeah. I know, like, the hired workers, but if you did it yourself, there shouldn't be any problem. No, but... if you do it yourself, you don't have a problem with it. Okay, there's our field. Let's go dig up our harvester now and get him down here. Let's leave this guy here. Oh, look at this guy's full too. Uh, I'll leave that guy there, Jason. You taking care of 57? Yep. Okay. He's all full over there. I'm going to find my other harvester. This guy's almost full too in the cornfield. Uh, there's my harvester. I think. No, that's not mine, is it? Yeah, it could be. Not in it anyway. I'm stealing it. And it's only right here, la.
User disconnected from your channel. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I'm not too sure about that, uh, Wayne. I know if you do it yourself, I didn't have any problems w when doing it myself, but I know the hired workers are a little cranky there. We, I experienced it twice already just today, just on this. Okay, what do we got, Burley? So we can leave some straw behind. Never have too much straw, folks. I got a modded variation potato harvester with a 50 meter header. Or Veritron, is it? Yeah. How's that working out for you? Veritron potato harvester. I don't know if I heard of the Veritrons. I must have. Yeah. Every time you turn your back, they stop. Hired workers. Just under an hour to go, folks. Thank you so much for joining us today. A little rough around the edges, folks, but we worked it out. And we will, uh, I'm hoping to God we can get the, the uh, competition map going for the weekend. Because we're well underway there and we do not want to start over again. We already did a restart on that map. But hopefully Papa Smurf will be back soon and we'll get that straightened out and... And we'll be right back in the saddle. Again. You always have hiccups. Yeah, the Grimmy's a lot faster. Yeah. That thing flies. This thing has a decent harvest speed. It's not as fast as that Homer over there, but I mean, look at the size of the header we got. That makes up for it. And then, of course, when you're using headers this size, you're going to have to accommodate for the yield, so you're going to want to go into the hundreds of thousands, so you're not emptying it every two seconds. I mean, this is a 250,000 liter harvester. That's super unrealistic, but look. We did two passes and we're up, we're one third of the way full already. And that's with this beast. Yeah, they just sit there. I don't even think they go home for the day. I think they just sit in the harvester and keep collecting money. I fire their butt. Hire somebody else. Uh, you know what happens. You end up doing it yourself. <laughs> it's like, ah, get out of there. I'll do it myself. <clears throat> There's the old KFC across the street. See, yeah, they're still working on stuff for this map, guys. There's still stuff coming. Work in progress. Hello, Spud Boy. Welcome to the stream. Let's see another pass or two. We'll have this field completed. It's only a tiny field compared to some of them. So I, yeah, I had to. Uh, I picked up a, a CD, and I picked up a PlayStation Mini because it was really cheap on Amazon, and uh, 
I have to return them because they don't work. The CD was cracked when I got it, and I had to go out and buy a printer just so I can return things to Amazon. You need a printer because you have to print out the uh, tags that they give you to put on to the package when you resend it. So I had to spend. Uh, I actually got a really good deal on a ch on a printer. I shouldn't complain, but I still had to buy a printer just to return something that was broken. Kind of a pain in the butt, but. I get a printer now. <laughs> I get a hundred dollar printer for forty five dollars, so I can't complain there. But see, you know what they? It's just like the razor blades. You know where they get you? The ink. The ink costs more than the printer. That's just like when you buy a brand new razor blade. It's like here, look at this. It's only ten dollars. It's like yeah, until you go to re to buy more blades for it, and you find out they're twice as much that than the razor itself <laughs> yeah 30 bucks for four blades and if you get three or four shaves out of one blade does it that's right and if you change it at, like they recommend it you know you'll be going through them a lot and i watched a documentary one time and they said that's one of the worst things for markup they said it's cheap it's really really cheap to make razor blades and the markup on it's like 400 percent or something like that it's like it's ridiculous what else? Like batteries. Batteries are overpriced. Uh, I'm getting a lot of lag here, man. Are you guys getting any? I'm I'm getting about forty, almost fifty frames a second here. I can't complain. I did before. How's my pings? Let's check the pings. Oh, wait. do I not get pings on this? I can't see my pings. You might not, cause you're the server. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not getting it. But yeah, it's pretty smooth on my on my end. Between uh it's up right, around. Like when you look at the map, your name is not Nick in the map. Oh, is that right? Oh uh, yeah. Server. That's right. Yeah, if you can I don't know if that shows up in the stream or not. I, I don't think it does because I'm looking at OBS. It's weird though. I mean I shouldn't oh. have that bad of lag or ping because uh, I'm right next to you, man. Hmm. Yeah, my, my uh, FPS counter doesn't show up on the stream. It should be up where you change your implements in the top left-hand corner. That's the thing. My my ping is garbage. Right. Oh. But my FPSs are at 60. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's weird. It's those, it's the free server. I don't know. It's, it's like a really cheap version. <clears throat> We don't have a full eight people on either. Because usually, like, we'd max this out because you're only allowed eight players max on the free one. But I find the people overseas really suffer the most because, like, the, the connection is yeah. horrible for them. John and, and Dean. I mean, technology Michael today B. and the repeaters that they use and stuff like that, there shouldn't <coughs> be issues with yeah. distance away from a server anymore, man. That's right. Someday they'll get that figured out. Because I'm telling you, the mod stuff came a long way. When I used to play this in 15, the mod stuff was kind of nightmarish. Like, you had, you used to get mods and, like, you had to go hunt down the triggers. Because it was different triggers for different factories and they'd update the triggers. And, like, now it's all conveniently done together in one. And your mods had to match, well, they still have to match perfectly. And I mean, we're using a couple of hundred mods here, folks. So if one mod is like named differently, or if it's a different version, it, you're not getting in. That's how User cranky it is. Channel. Okay, let's turn our swath off. We don't need to leave any more straw for that little bit. But we're done after this pass. We got some barley. Almost a quarter of a million liters worth. Well, over a quarter of a million liters. See, that was just big enough to get this field done. My computer had a nervous breakdown. I had to restart it. So make sure you answer the questions when you're ask, asked to join the Facebook group over there, guys. And it's just a precaution because you know, because of mod theft and a few other things going on. He uh, prefers if you had your Facebook account for a year, and that's reasonable. I, I totally understand that. But yeah, unfortunately, guys, because of other people, we lost Morpheus. 
um, precautions have to be taken. Yeah, yeah, it locked up on me. It's unfortunate that it got to be that way, but people are people. Not all people are nice people. How much time you got left, Nick? We have 44 minutes. Mm. I got to run soon anyway, so no sense in me really trying to get back in. That's all right, man. Uh, Dixie can get in. All right. I'm going to look back up now. Yes, here in Denmark, you can buy a new printer anytime you think. Yeah, really. You're almost better off throwing away the printer. I totally agree. Yeah, sometimes you're better off just buying a new one. Man, uh, there, I watched another a documentary one time, and it was about uh, uh, something, uh, 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 I forget the name of it now, but it's about factories that make products that are meant to break down after so long so they can sell more more of it. Like That's light, just not right. Long time ago, guys, when light bulbs like first came out, light bulbs lasted forever, forever. But they were like, we're, we're not making any money off this, so let's fit, change the filament in them so they burn out. That's the same as women's pantyhose. They used to be able to tow cars with them. <laughs> and now, like, look at them. What like, they get, I, I, all you hear, awesome. you know, like, <laughs> run, women get runs in their pantyhose, right? And, I mean, years ago, nylon is really, really a strong material. And uh, they were like, well, this is like, you know, you only had to sell one pair, and then they were good. It's like, well, that ain't working out. I uh, forget. Something up, 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 up. I forget. I'm going to butcher it if I try to. But it was a very uh, good documentary. Planned obsolescence. Is that it? But it was that. And now, and there was another part in there. That's how it all started. A guy had a printer. And it was he kept getting a message come up on the printer that he had to take it in to get it uh, looked at. And then when he took it in to get it looked at, the guy said, no, what? you're better off just buying another one because what it's going to cost you to fix it, just buy another one. And here he took it to a specialist, had it taken apart, and found out there was a chip that they actually put into the board, A, eh, that tells that printer to turn off after so many prints and to bring it to the manufacturer. Like, tell me that ain't sleazy. And, and Buddy went in, he took that chip out, and the printer worked perfect after that. So they literally put something in that to break it. That's how, that's scary, man. Don't like that. I don't know if you guys are interested in that stuff, but that stuff, that I, I, it blows my mind when I hear stuff like that. Okay, what do we got here? We got that guy empty. Let's check our fields here. Planned obsolescence, yeah, that's what it is. Grid free, planned obsolescence. They 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 make stuff so that's the same as cars. They can make a car nowadays that would never rust. You'd never have to you have to worry about it rusting. They can make cars that will not rust. But why would they do that? Let's make a guy you know have to trade it in after ten years and and you know if he wants to keep up with everything. Planned obsolescence, yeah. Because there's an old fire department down in the uh, States, and they had a light bulb there. And they actually have a birthday for it every year. It's over 100 years old in this fire department, and it still lights up. And they actually have a birthday for it every year. Okay. That's <laughs> it's like this old light bulb, and it still works after 100 years. So that just goes to show you, you know, it, it's scary, really, when you think about it. Yeah. But some people will argue the fact that it keeps people in work. And I do agree with that somewhat. Because if you only had to make one thing, uh, something once, once everybody has it, you know, that's it. Shut down the factory, you're unemployed. But, uh, you know, it's also not fair to a lot of people either. But anyway, folks, I just got on a ramble there. Uh, let's see here. I like that John Deere tipper, man. I think it looks pretty nice. Okay. What's left? Well, we have a whole map here full of fields. And everything's almost harvested. Okay, we got a few tiny ones over here. Two, three, four, and five got to be harvested, folks. Cranberries are in those. 
Okay. Can I do, get that with our regular harvester? Yep, yep. regular okay. harvester. Let's head over there, guys. Try to come back in again. That's another thing with this harvester. Like, I can't turn that header off. Oh, oh you're going to have a hard time getting across the bridge, too. It's the crazy header. That uh, it is. I'm going yep. to... Know how you do that? You drop it. Drop it and shove it across. You pick it up again. Or you can do that on the bridge, yeah. Yeah, you can't pick it up. That mod's not in there. Oh. Let's push it with your tractor or your yeah. combine. Yeah. Uh, let's fold this up. And be very, very careful. Like I said, I'm trying to come in, so you might want to hold off till I try. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. We're good. Where there's a well, there's a way, folks. Drop it at the bridge. Show and it you'll across. notice, yeah, you'll notice when, since he updated the map that the uh, a lot of the ponds have silt in it now. So that's pretty cool. I think it's used at the fertilizer factory in place of the manure. Yeah. That header won't fit across the bridge. I should have tried it. It looks like it would almost... Uh, no. It won't. Hello, Fred. Welcome, welcome. So got 38 minutes left, folks. Thank you so much for joining us again, guys. Really, really appreciate it. You brightened my mood today. I was kind of down in the dumps earlier. Uh, oh, don't get stuck. Okay. It's not going to let me back in, guys. No? I wonder why it's doing that all of a sudden. That Steam game server does that from yeah. time to time. Just, to 26 percent again just having one of those weeks folks you know when it rains it pours it seems like everything's going around you know what the funny thing is usually november is my bad month i don't know what it is with november a eh? but november and i don't get along too well but it seemed to come a little early this this year <laughs> november i don't know what it is man i always have like a streak in november where things just don't seem to go oh right. my god oh my god i haven't seen this guy in like forever what are you doing madaba dubs madaba dubs we, we miss you buddy haven't seen you for a while Anyway, guys, come on, man. There's 50 people watching, and there's only five thumbs up, man. Let's give Nick a uh, thumbs up rush here, guys. Come uh, on, I everybody. really appreciate it, guys. Up, man. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Fifty people watching. Very nice. Dixie, we lost Dixie again. There we go, folks. We got cranberries. Yeah, I can't get back in for some. Look at the nice color of that. I never harvested cranberries before. Nice texture. Farmer John, hello. Welcome to the stream. You know what? I'm just going to keep going. I'll do the two of them at well. Look at that. Lauren Drager, you're... Oh, my God. Thank, Thank you. you, buddy. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. Lauren Drager, you don't have to do that, buddy. I really appreciate it. But, but I'm, I'm feeling bad. <laughs> Believe me, I'm very grateful, man. I am. Thank you so much. I'm just, I'm tongue-tied. I don't even know what to say. Just thank you, thank you. And it really helps, man. It really does. Cranberry delight. Okay, what do we do with cranberries? 
What are they used for? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Okay. It's coming. Something's coming using cranberries. What do we got? Cranberry cocktail. What else uses cranberries? Uh, you can have cranberry, like, canned cranberries for, like, turkey dinners and stuff. Uh, what else? Cranberries. Originally, it was supposed to be used for cranberry relish, but I don't know if that got actually. Cranberry actionable. relish. Never heard of that. DKK, that must be the Danish crown. Or crown. I was wondering that myself, yeah. yeah. That's the Danish crown. That's cool. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I was okay. wondering, DKK, I didn't know. God bless you, Lauren Drager. Cranberries would be good in bread or muffins. Hello, Chris. Welcome to the stream. We're just doing one big harvest here, guys. Look, we go straight right across there. And we still got that little one there with the same product. Yeah, all three of those over there planted in cranberries. Uh, okay. And the only reason why I knew that, Nick, is because I know Lauren Dragger's from Denmark. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. I never noticed the, uh, is that new with the bird giving the thumbs up there? i never seen that before. Where he donated. It's like a bird giving a thumbs up. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that. That's new. Yeah, i never seen that's that before new. either. That was never on him before. No. I noticed somebody on uh, Facebook, too, had a, uh, like their profile picture was animated. How weird is that? I never knew that can you could do that. Yeah, you a, can do an animated. Uh, I didn't know that. Like his name, yeah, like yeah. every once in a while, sparkles would go off of it. Like, yeah, like you know that. Um, I, I love playing with stuff like that. Like I'm, I, I've been playing with, um, you know, that comment you gave me the other day on that new intro. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did that myself in Adobe after effects that's so professional man it looks so good yeah i like it man i got about eight more that i made for myself too nice oh, yeah you're good at that buddy you and uh you and michael b are really good at that i just got a basic channel opening i'll learn how to do that stuff i never I really know, messed around with animations and stuff for christmas yeah hello fred welcome to the stream bud jeremy welcome Pete, welcome. If I haven't said it already, thanks so much for the support, guys. Well, we're certainly getting like I'm part of the audience now. <laughs> <laughs> so am I, man. I'm just here looking at the <laughs> Nick harvesting whatever he's harvesting. <laughs> Cranberry. Cranberry. Oh, cranberry, yeah. I see the red there now, yeah. You don't happen to have a semi wherever you're at, do you, uh, Morpheus? Yeah. I might have yeah, brought one over here. My semi's up on field 29 where I can't get. Oh, no. Yeah, it's just you and Jason in there now, Nick. Oh, wow. Yeah, we can't get back in. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that. Jason and I are the only ones left. Yeah, my semi's in the, my semi's in the, in the garage. <laughs> Oh, good stuff, Fred. Brand new computer. Oh, lucky, lucky. Nothing like a brand new build, man. So just you just waiting on the most important part. Yeah, the GPU. Hope you got a good one, bud. If you're going, guys, go. You know, don't go the biggest, but definitely go mediocre or higher. Don't build I'm low because it's cheap, that, guys. Yeah. Like, you're going to have so much problems. What field are you? I am in field five. Eighteen, isn't it? Five. Yeah, five. Oh, right across <coughs> from the main farm area there. Yeah. yeah. And I just ran into go juice. Are you coming with a tipper, Jay? Yes, I am. Atta boy. Good stuff. Ho hopefully it'll hold a quarter million liters. There you go, Lauren Drager. What's that like? <laughs> Yes, thanks guys so much. It really does help when you hit that like button, guys. It really, really does. They never are, Fred. They never are. 
they'll never understand how important <laughs> How true, eh? Yeah. I wouldn't understand. I'm a gamer. <laughs> yeah. Dixie understands. But, yeah, some don't. They're like, what the hell? It's like, it gotta be done. That, Nick. You've just almost had enough to finish it. <laughs> yeah. Just about there. But, yeah, it's like, you don't have to have the latest in technology because you'll never be ahead of it, guys. As long as you build your computer, it's pretty much obsolete, for God's sakes. Mine's a dinosaur now. But, uh, Probably five years you know... Ago. But I would, like, get it, if you're going to get a graphics card, like, if you're going uh, NVIDIA, or you're going, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, Intel. Get at least, you know, uh... Let's say a 1070? Yeah, a 1070, exactly. I would go with a 1070 nowadays. Before it would have been a 1050, but I would say a 1070 now. Especially if you're into playing other games besides this, because this doesn't take a whole lot of computing power compared to some of the games I play. Like some of them AAA titles, if you're playing Assassin's Creed and stuff, they're really high demanding. You need a good graphics card for that. But here, you know, you can get away with a... You could get away with a 1050, but I would get at least a 1070. Man, but I'd like to have one Bitcoin right now. <laughs> That'd be nice, eh? Yeah, it's for ten thousand four hundred and forty eight dollars and sixty seven cents Canadian. Man, I was just like everybody else when that came out and I was like I heard about that right away and I'm like, Oh, it's like you wanna bite but at the same time you think this isn't gonna go. The yeah, government's gonna yeah. want a big old piece of that and there's like how can you get away from that? But know what? They're doing it. Cryptocurrency. See, Bitcoin works. One Bitcoin if it's online cryptocurrency. You get to ten thousand for it, so if right. you're purchasing online, because it's a different currency. But if you were to cash that one Bitcoin into Canadian dollar, they convert it over to what's called Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, and one Bitcoin Cash is worth two hundred and seventy nine twenty five Canadian. Wow. Still a lot of money, almost 300 bucks for one Bitcoin. Yeah, I remember the guy that invented the Bitcoin was giving his sales pitch like it's going to be the new thing of the future. And You know, I was just like everybody else. I'm like, yeah, all right, buddy. It's like you and your Monopoly money. But know what? <laughs> I was wrong. And it's so, it's like the stock market. It goes up and down, up and down, so you don't really know, right? Hello, Andy. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's still riding a snail here. Yeah, the 1050 Ti, I actually, uh, that's the last graphics card I had until I upgraded to, uh, I just have a 1080 now. Well, that's a great, it's, a, it's not a Ti, it's just a 1080, but it's great for what I need it for. The only thing I have to update is my motherboard and my GPU, or my CPU, because my CPU is an i5 and it's quite old now. It's fine for playing this, but I mean, I got I want to get an i9, and I need a, a motherboard that'll accompany in it. Accompany it. It's the only thing with building computers, you got to make sure the parts fit. Like there's, a, there's actually, uh, there's a, there's an app out there. It's called PC Builder, and it's a great app, guys. If you're looking to build a computer, because you can just take what you want. There's like almost every computer parts listed over there. And you basically build it on the site and it'll tell you what if it's compatible with each other or not and it'll even recommend it's like well this won't work try looking for this one that's what's what i that did site, what's that what's the name of that site again pc builder pc builder yeah, yeah. and it, it has like all the little spaces for what you need in a computer and you basically just like a shopping cart you put whatever's in there and it'll tell you if it's compatible with each other it's a really cool thing. It's been around for years now. Okay, we have all this harvested, folks. That's it for the cranberries. Jason, if you're around, bud, could you bring that tipper back just one last time? Uh, I left it down there. Okay. Where you at? Where you at, hiding? Yes. I see it.
But guys, when I built my PC, I didn't have a clue what I was doing when I watched YouTube videos, I swear. And one of the best sites I've ever come across, and I still love it today if you want to be kept up on the tech stuff, it's called Linus Tech Tips. And a lot of you probably heard of it already, but I'm telling you, subscribe to that channel. He is so good at that stuff. He'll, he, he reviews the latest stuff, and there's no guff. Like, he tells you whether it's worth, like... He's not scared to say something's garbage, basically. Yeah, the i5. That's what I got. I thought that was that was cool. Because, I mean, the only thing above that was the i7 at the time, right? And I'm like, oh, I don't need that. But then I started making YouTube videos and stuff. And then it's like, yeah, actually, if you're rendering video, you want the best CPU you can get. Because that thing is a computer stomper i can't do anything when i render video i basically gotta just wait until it's done forget about playing a game i can't even watch youtube videos because i keep getting the render circle on the screen and it's a pain in the butt but i will i'll upgrade eventually it's funny because i bought two eight sticks of ram it cost me a hundred dollars back in the day and then i went to get another eight two sticks of eight and it cost me double and that's after the price dropped the ram went crazy the price of ram is so ridiculous man it used to be so cheap but you know what i noticed some things are getting cheaper like monitors and stuff there's a good for instance like monitors are way cheaper now than they used to i mean you can get a nice you know uh 27 inch monitor curved everything for like 200 bucks now 300 bucks i mean it's not the best brand out there but man monitors used to be quite expensive at one time where am i going with this i'm just going for a joyride here folks let's bring this back to farm two we'll drop off our cranberries the yeah. there we're not having too much luck with connections today, folks. Right, make it left there. Oh. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Never mind. Keep going, then. <laughs> I turned around. Or was I... Oh, across the bridge. Yes, yes, yes. Now you got to remember, I got a slight delay. Yeah. So. 22 minutes left, folks. We're getting there. Well, Jason and I, and I are the only ones left. Everybody's gone. Oh, that's all right. We knew you can hold down the fort. Yeah. <laughs> all silos. the straws picked up. It just won't let us back in. Oh, I gotta go down that way. All right, guys. I gotta run. I gotta run out to the store and that for Mrs. Oh. M. Okay, and, buddy. Uh, we'll be talking over the weekend. Hopefully, now we'll have everything straightened out for yeah, Sunday. Yeah, hopefully. Keep your fingers hopefully, crossed, man. buddy. We'll get her straightened right. out. Awesome awesome stream again today, Nick. Thanks, bud. Have a good right, one. Then. We'll oh. be talking to you. Yep. All right. Take her easy, Morpheus. Okay, guys. Take care. See ya. I'll make another lift. Yeah. User disconnected from your channel. And then there was three. <laughs> the left or right, actually. Either way. <laughs> Yeah, I hope to have everything straightened out for the competition, guys. I really, really hope so, because that's going to be kind of a downer if I can't get that going. I mean, once Papa gets back, we'll get it going, but I am not good with servers, and uh, it's down. We can't even get on there to figure out what's going on. But, uh, okay, we're done that harvest. Let's go find something else to harvest. What do we got? I'm seeing a lot of purple here, guys. We're quite... Almost done. Uh, field two. Field two, Jay. What's in that? Do you know? Uh, oh. Okay, I can get that with a header. <laughs> or get that with this header. I know. I'm not even in the game, and I know what's there. <laughs> it's on my chart. It's pretty good. She's on top of it. <laughs> She's on top of it. I Her think that's. I think that's the only thing left. ATI card. What's an ATI card? I'm not too sure what an ATI card is. It's not ringing a bell. 
whatever the solid state drives are the uh, way to go now guys they're getting a lot cheaper there's another thing solid state drives when they came out they were super expensive and super small now they're getting quite big and a lot more cheaper and the solid state drives won't wear out like the uh, your regular drives will because I mean all it does is keep rewriting you delete it rewrites on top on top on top and I mean after a while that thing's spinning and spinning anything with moving parts is going to break down after a while a solid state won't anything with spinning parts is gonna give out eventually there's nothing in this world that has moving parts and doesn't need maintaining somehow right, turn right yep Deal too, I see ya. Yeah. ATI is a brand name. No, I never heard of that one. See, I know you can either go with an Intel build or you can go with an AMD build. AMD is a lot cheaper and there's nothing wrong with AMD. I just always stuck with Intel myself. But AMD has got a, a lot better over the years and it's a much cheaper route to go. Oats and oats. Yeah, it's a much cheaper way to go. It's just I'm not familiar with the AMD stuff. I always went Intel. But Intel, you're going to pay a little bit more for. It used to be a lot more, but now they're getting a little bit more reasonable too. There's so much stuff out on the market. Like It's, it's a little intimidating if you never built a computer before, but know what? It's not that hard, guys. It really isn't. It's not like you got to go in there and program everything. It's just, you know, a lot of the parts are basically like Legos. You're just going to snap it together, plug it into the motherboard, run some cables. You know, you'll have to update and, you know, get everything that was on your old PC over to your new PC. But I was actually shocked how easy it was. And as long as you know what parts you're getting, that's the big one. You want to make sure your parts are compatible with each other, you know. And shop around. Don't be in a hurry to buy a computer. If you're going to build it yourself, like, you know, do a little shopping around. Do a little bit of research. Like I said, Linus Tech Tips is a great one to check out. There's so many of them out there. But he's the one I really like the most because he's honest. And he gets stuff to review for free. And he'll tell them, like, if it's garbage. He's not scared to tell the truth. But I mean, he reviews stuff on there that makes you jealous too. Like <laughs> he like got the latest of everything over there, and it just makes your jaw drop. It's like, yeah, how nice. He had this one setup, man. He had like 32 monitors hooked up, and they were all like freaking 70 inches or something. It's like, good lord. He's like trying to play in a PC game on a drive-in movie theater picture screen. Yeah. You know, and then they got like, uh, they got the new uh, GTX uh, 10 or what are they, 2080s. And then he got like multiple of them inside the system. It's like, oh my God, you'd be lucky to have one, let alone two crossfired. I never understood the multiple. I mean, I'm sure it serves a purpose, but I could never see how somebody would go out and buy two of those. I mean, those graphics cards are about you know between twelve and fifteen hundred dollars not cheap and you're gonna put two of them in there I don't see any point but I mean I'm not completely computer savvy I, I learn little things here and there and a lot of the mod stuff is taught to me by the crew and uh, you know I learn little bits here and there but I, I couldn't make a mod Now, I can adjust mods and tweak them out a little bit, but to make a mod from scratch? No, sir. Not a clue. Yeah, I know what, Wayne? It's great when you know somebody that could do it for you. Like, that's a super bonus. Sometimes you might have a family member that's into that, or, you know, they keep up on the latest stuff. and It really isn't as hard as you think it is. It's not. It's intimidating. When you get all these parts and you're like, oh my god, where do I start? But know what? The hardest part is putting in your CPU. And once that's done, you're it's smooth sailing. If you're going to apply your own thermal paste and stuff, that's the only place where it might get a little messy if you're not sure what you're doing. But 
There's so many videos out there to show you how to do it properly. And there's no perfect way. You just got to make sure when you put your thermal paste on, you're not going too crazy. You want enough, but you don't definitely want don't want too much. Just because you got a whole tube of thermal paste, some people feel the need to use it all. <laughs> and it takes a tiny little bit. That's all. A pea. You know how big a pea is? That's literally how much you use. A pea-sized drop. Because they don't realize when you smash the CPU down on top of it, it's going to push that out. So if you got too much, it's going to leak and <laughs> slop all over the place. And now, but uh, that's the only hard part. And I'll tell you, like a lot of the uh, a lot of the CPUs come with coolers now that already have like an adhesive sticker on it. It already has that adhesive stuff on it. All you have to do is peel and stick. Done. That's it. But some people, you know, if you're playing games for like, if you're a hardcore gamer and you play for multiple hours a day then I would tell you to get a better cooler than the stock one that comes with it. But I use the stock one, and I'm fine. But I don't play for, like, eight, nine hours. Like, I play for an hour or two, shut her down. You know what I mean? Like, and it can certainly handle that, no problem. Okay, Mr. Jason, what are we going to work on now for the next 13 minutes? We have field eight up there. I don't know what's in that. Let's see what's in that. Everything to the south of the map is basically done we need uh, a few of these plowed field eight supposed to have mustard in it no it might be done this is saying unless mustard's purple on the ma on the mustard mustard no it's a yellowish color no it's harvested already why was it shown as no. not harvested See? Field 8. I'm just looking for that purple color because. You know what? I think that might be hemp in there. Might be. I'll, I'll go up and check it out. Yeah, uh, prob yeah it probably is. Okay. I think you might be right. Yeah. Okay, we'll steal this harvester here. I see a truck nearby. I can dump this oat. The rest of this oats off. Yeah, it probably is hemp. I just got the FS19 to work for over 10 hours on one save game. Nice. If you buy an overclock CPU, it does not come with a cooler fan oh yeah that's right Billy yeah that's true I think my 1050 when I had my 1050 Ti I think it was like a, a, a super overclocked edition like you didn't over you didn't overclock it was already kind of built into it uh, let's see here Jay where am I heading again I'm heading up to seven I gotta turn this bus around head over that away Oh god, I get across that bridge, don't I? Oh no. We're good. We're good. This bridge is no problem. Might be a little rough on the paint job on the header, but we can definitely get across this one. Scrape. <laughs> That's a big old loud factory. Oh yeah, that's industrial corner there. Coffee time. Yeah, I hear that Lauren Dragger. I'm getting one as soon as I'm done here. Because the one I got in front of me is ice cold. Okay, so uh, let's see. We'll find out here in a second. On driving fast, you get through it. <laughs> <laughs> I think I brought the... Oh, no, I got the right header. Yeah, it is hemp. Good, good, yes. good. Okay, we'll have time to finish this field, and I think that might be about it. Currently, I have 150 hours on the Reachyville Mac. Longest, longest play on single player so far. Yeah, it'll keep you busy for sure. Good stuff, Wayne. Oil Moneymaker. 
Yep. The old hemp comes in handy. And know what's great? He has factories that implement the uh, crop types that you don't usually use that often, like millet and stuff. Like now we have a, a use for that. Like uh, what did I review? Like the uh, the hen house. Like you have your choice of six different grains you can use in there. So you're not limited to just, you know, having to use barley or wheat. You can use, you know, millet and all that stuff. You can use oats. Okay, there it goes. Oh, what's that? Oh, there's a couple of uh, lavender bales still over here. Yeah, that's originally where the lavender field was. It wasn't big enough. Oh, okay. I love to look at them, man. They look awesome. Lavender bales. Tobacco bales. Y'all are going to need those lavender bales soon. 150 hours. Wow. Yeah, that is a lot. Good stuff. And you're still, and you're still got stuff coming. A lot, a few more factories coming here. Anyway, guys, work in progress, like I said. And we still have the slaughterhouse, uh, bread, cakes. Nice. Else. Talking, you're talking my language now. I was waiting really, like, I love everything, but trust me, but I was really looking forward to the uh, butchery stuff. The sandwich shop. Because it makes the more. animals even more worth doing, you know? And dough foods will be released <clears throat> probably tomorrow. Nice. So keep your eye open for that, guys. Dole food coming at you soon. And like old man said, get those lavender bales ready because something's coming. Here comes Mr. Jason. I was just going to ask for you, buddy. Man, this thing, what a yield you get out of this. Look, we just did this one little field, and it's like, well, I almost got a quarter of a million liters already. Oh, happy Look at Jason, right in time. I'm, I'll just stop for you, buddy. Yeah, the happy hippie will be even happier. <laughs> and all those factories are full if you want to show, show anybody what the products look like. Yeah. There's a, a flatbed over there somewhere. Okay. Got a black semi attached to it. Maybe I'll do that for the last little part of the stream here, guys. Finish up this field here. Whoa, Jason. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we might might have cranberry muffins. Oh, nice. That'd be I cool. Don't know if we That's we're right. I never thought of that. Oh, well, we're getting ice cream also. Is, ice there, cream is there cereal? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Factory Farm. That, uh, I was going to say, there's cereals that have cranberries in it. I don't know what, what the cranberries are. Jay. Thanks, buddy. Be. Yep. Thinking it's going to go in the muffins or the bread, but I don't know yet. Okay. Alright, let's just leave this guy here for now. And we'll go on a little tour up to the factory. Let's go see if we can find this flatbed Dixie's talking about. It's around there in the industrial park somewhere. Okay. There we go. Okay, what can we spawn? What can we spawn? Oh, we're right by next door. Let's do that up. Okay, left control and G. Where you at? There you are. Okay. Yeah, the semis here. with no attachments on the back had things that we don't play in here. In right. Let's get some cookie dough. There it is. Actually, I'll, I'm going to uh, get out of here for a second. Yeah, I actually left it right beside the dough. <laughs> yeah. 
cookie dough. I'm just going to take a few pallets of each. Uh, let's get five. Compost. No, leave that there. Recycle bin is full. Uh, cake mix. What else do we have? Pot crust. Yeah, you'll see it shut off because it's full of recyclables. Nice. That's why old man made the trigger that you can place down there to get rid of that to keep your factories going. Okay. <clears throat> okay, we got some pizza dough. Let's get some bread in there. See that? It's full. When it gets full, the factory shuts off. Oh, okay. Recycle. Okay, let's get a look at these products, guys. I have to bring up her HUD here, turn her auto load on. We're set to pallets already. Uh, UK. There's one on the Torella board that will load the board, that board pallets and the pipe pallets. There you go, guys. We finally got something to work for those lumber pallets. So, yeah, like Dixie said, go over the Trello site and you'll find it there. Is this it here that I'm using, Dixie? No. Oh, okay. <clears throat> There's our product. Right, you see it. Loading dock. There we go. What do we got here? Some pizza crust. Or wait, uh, pizza crust mix. Then we got some cake mix. Then we got some cookie dough. And I'm not sure what the blue boxes are, but we'll find out in a second. Oh, the only thing is I mixed everything up here. I'm going to have to go through it again. Yeah, where you see that gray area right there, that's where the recycle triggers were. Oh, okay. When we converted the game over, it, it took them out of there because we didn't have them in the game yet. Right. Here we go, guys. Got a big load of dough here. Where do we bring the dough at? We got to sell these, I guess. Well, you could sell them or you could put them in the warehouse. Oh, can we store? Oh, yeah, this isn't a finished product. Uh, where... Where are the, it's on um, the other side oh, over there. Oh, right, 24. right. Yeah, we get a little bit of a drive ahead of us, folks. I don't know if we're going to quite make it there in time. Right, it's not very far. Right over there on the other side. Oh, I find it's best to only spawn out one one kind of product at a time. Right. Yeah, it is. It is. But yeah, because if you mix them great. up, guys, it's going to be a little. You can always repick them up, but it makes a little more shuffling for you. Where am I at on the map? I can't see myself. Okay, there we are. I'm going around. You're going around the mountain. I'm going. Oh, yeah. We got to go around. Hello, train. Oh, just missed you. It's a sharp turn. Left. Left. L what? Make a left. Uh, up that red road? Up to no, cross the bridge? No, you're going the wrong way. Turn around. Round. You're on the field 24. That little skinny field over there. I thought I was going over to the industrial park. No, no, no. no. You're going to get trained. <laughs> oh, you're lucky. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll just go across here. Wait till the train gets by now. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're seeing a little bit behind me. Yeah, I am. Uh, there is a placeable cell point or a placeable that you put over the trigger where you spawn out your recyclables right. and your gold that will sell them automatically. It's on the Trello board. Yeah, you'll notice that, guys. It's right as soon as you load up the uh, website. It's like right in front of you there. You'll see uh, it's a uh, it's just a uh, a cell trigger for your for your gold and stuff, and that's all brand new. So you want to grab that up. Don't need to go across the bridge. No. Uh, Nick, where are you going? <laughs> um, I'm heading over to the industrial park, I thought. No, you're headed the opposite direction. Isn't it where all those words are? No, 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 no. They're over there in field 24. Where all those words are is the bale storage oh. for the animals. I'm looking for 24. Uh, 24. Right there across from 25. <laughs> Where's 25, 24, 25? That little skin, oh, that I see it. Like yes, 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 yes. That's where the warehouses are. I see ya. I see ya, Hayden. Oh, okay. 
I gotta get used to it, guys. Yeah, you can turn around right there in that big open spot. Oh, we're out of time. Oh, well, we'll drop it off next <laughs> time, guys. We'll drop it off next time, but right there, I'm gonna wrap yeah, it up. Yeah, right, it goes right over the spawn points. As soon as you spawn them out, they, they pretty much auto-sell right from there. Oh, okay, nice. So, yeah, there's your uh, finished product from Nick's House of Dough, guys. Very, very nice. I'm just going to put this here so I can get over to this screen. And, yes, you can pick them back up and sell them if you don't want to auto-spawn <coughs> them out. Nice. That's cool. Look on the corner of where, where the Richieville logo is. Right. Okay. And you'll be able to pick them up and sell them. So keep that in mind, guys. You're uh, if kept keep well updated on this. Don't forget the Trello link is down in the description below. If you don't have it, put it in your favorites. If you're gonna you're gonna be referencing it quite a bit. If you're gonna be playing on this map, I'd advise it. And Papa Smurf site is also down there. You want some cool mods? You like some of the mods we use here on the map? Most likely you'll find it over there. So guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Lauren Dragger, good lord, thank you so much, man. That was so kind of you. Wow. Unbelievable. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to try our best to uh, make it on Sunday. I really don't want to give up on that. Well, we're not giving up on it. We're just, it may be on hold if worse comes to worse. But uh, I'm really hoping to have things going by then. But guys, from the crew and myself, thank you so much for joining us today. You guys have a great weekend, and hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. Take care, everyone. Bye, y'all. Bye.